It is our first full day here in Epernay. We took a train down yesterday from Bronx, just 30 minute ride. And we've gotten settled here in the capital of Champagne. Now, Ronce is a bigger, beautiful, a little bit maybe nicer place that everyone kind of associates with Champagne, but Epernay is really where the heart of it is. The vineyards are in the distance and it's gorgeous and they have what we're gonna go check out today, the Avenue of Champagne. It is literally just a row of all the gorgeous Champagne houses. So we're gonna kind of keep it a chill day today because tomorrow you'll see we have big plans. But today we're just gonna go stroll down the Avenue of Champagne and just kind of stop in, maybe grab a sip. Look Definitely at grab a sip. <laughs> <laughs> look at the sights. We're just gonna get going now. It's after lunchtime because we always have a slow start, as y'all might have noticed, but let's go. I'm not sure if you can go in or tour or anything, the doors seem to be closed, but it's gorgeous to see from the outside and it has an enormous steeple, which is sort of a good like landmark anytime you're walking around to know sort of where you are. Yeah, we can we can actually see it from the living room in our yeah. Airbnb. It's pretty yeah, neat, really, so. Really pretty view. So anyway, that's what we've seen so far. We're gonna start our walk down the avenue. So we're strolling down the uh, Avenue de Champagne and we came across the Hotel de Ville here, which is now actually the City Hall in Epernay. Um, it's a really beautiful, beautiful building. And all around the property are some beautiful gardens and different landscapes and water features, which is pretty nice. And then out front, um, this is really nice to see. There's a um, actually pretty beautiful memorial out front, which so far what we gathered, just by looking and, and reading everything, is a memorial for the fallen soldiers during World War I and World War II that were from Epernay and probably also from Ronce. Something jumped in the bushes. <laughs> Think of that, um, what's that movie, The Secret Garden? It's really pretty here. I like it. I feel like I'm very close to you. Also, want to mention that it didn't cost anything to walk in here on the property in the gardens. Gates open, walk in. This would be a beautiful place to bring a picnic and then grab a glass of champagne at one of the champagneries. Yeah, I will say look up the hours though. I don't remember what they were, but we noticed them on the way in that there are hours to the, to the gates being open, but you can just walk on in when they are open. It's not you bug saying hi. There you go, good job. Go on, good job. Oh, bye. Our dog's name is Lady and we call her Ladybug and that was just a little hello and that she misses us. We'll see you soon, bub. Be home in like four weeks. We've walked by Molly 
in Shandong and saw the statue of Dong Hyeong himself. Kind of cool. It looks like you can stay there in Moe. So they have like a hotel Moe and a hotel Shandon across the street. Yep. That'd be neat. Pretty fancy looking. Yeah. Looks like we're coming up on another one. Um, Gorgeous. Yeah, sorry oh, about Gary, the noise too. Moe. <laughs> I lost her. I have lots of faves. I love fancy champagne. It's just the kind of woman I am. There are so many different champagne brands located here on this avenue. And the history of it, it dates back to the 17th century or 1600s. And all the different champagne brands, um, their, I guess, wineries, champaneries, and their houses were all built here. So literally stacked up right next to each other are some of the nicest champagne brands you'll find. Be nice. The avenue itself is a seems to be a major road. Like you'll hear yeah. a car coming now. Yeah. So it's not like a quiet walk, but it's a really lovely walk, and truly the buildings are beautiful. I just want to bop into every single one and be like, <laughs> "Can I try it? Can I try it? Can I try it? Can I try it?" We decided to stop in and have some champagne. So the first stop is Devino. We've never had this one before, so we're gonna go in and order a glass. I don't know which kind yet. We'll have to see. We'll let you know how it is, and then maybe we'll stop by another place. This one is the Prestige, uh -huh. and it's made of 50% Pinot Noir, 25% okay. no no no, 50% Chardonnay, 25% okay. Pinot Noir, and 25% Meunier. Oh, I'm really impressed that you yeah. remember that. Good job. It's 
It's got a little more edge to it, but when you swallow, usually when you swallow champagne, there's kind of a bite to it. And this one almost smells like water. Like the taste is all at the beginning of the front. That's, that's my thoughts. You want to try? Yes. So the lady at the counter did say that this one's good for appetizers or desserts. Either one. Pretty much says it's good all around. This is one of the most popular, the prestige champagne. So. This one's a little more light. Some crispness, but not as much as the previous one. Definitely easier to put down the pipes. <laughs> put down the pipes. What do we know about this one? All right, so this one is the rose, and it is actually. Basically, the first one that we had, the Selection, mm -hmm. but the difference is the addition of 10 to 20% red wine to make it the rose. And it's good with, again, appetizers or desserts. Okay, let's see what we see. It's really lovely, kind of ombre, rose color. Mm -hmm. Kind of almost an orange red, you know? Try to find us a little boulangerie to get some pastries. Hopefully, we can find a croissant or something really good. And then, what are we gonna do? We're gonna chill. Yeah. And get some dinner later. Chill some more because tomorrow we need to get up bright and early and take the 8 a.m. train to France to do a full day champagne tour. Yay! and espresso. <laughs> There's a few things better than just a delicious, plain, buttery croissant. So What's better than a plain, buttery croissant? What are those few things? Greek yogurt and granola. <laughs> Baked sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes. 
say the hash. So we're sticking strictly to food. Avocados. Sex mix. So there's a lot of things. But it's good, it's the point. <laughs> so good. Kind of messing with him. Oh man, I did a good job on that one. One day this will be your own home of exercise. Chilling at the park, just pedaling, just pedaling. Not bad. Thank you so much.